and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you about how to be a rock. All uh, right. I just want to just be, be with you a little while. I'm just going to talk to you today about how to be a rock. See, 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 Jesus is our rock. Amen. Uh, but at the same time, you could be a Peter. Right. You could be a, a rock too. Uh, but there is some things that we have to understand about being a rock. Uh, uh, you know, you know how they are. When you when you decide that you want to even think about being a rock, they, they 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 build houses and they got these things where they build a house. They call them when they're doing the foundations of battle board. And I know some of you construction people know what I'm talking about. When you just got just a, a, a dirt slab, they got this thing called a battle board. See, when you begin to build something, you can be, begin to prepare. Because, see, now you better have some battles. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to teach you how to be a rock. And now you better have some battles because you said, Jesus, I do. And it's like <laughs> it's like a marriage. When you, <laughs> when you enter into a, a marriage, it, 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 it is going to be some battles. Uh, but when you accept Jesus Christ, you better watch out because even as the devil tempted him, he's coming to tempt you. Amen. So you got to start this rock out by making this battle board. It's where the corner of a, a building is going to be. And most construction people, they set up a battle board on all four corners of where the building and how it's going to stand. And then they run these lines and they pop these straight lines to keep the wall lined up. I'm going to teach you how to be a rock today. Yeah, okay? Right. And so when you get these lines lined up, that's you getting into your word. Because see, now, now you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Now you got your battle boards on your corners. Now you're going to line yourself up. Huh? Come on, somebody. Right. Now you're going to line yourself up with this building and this foundation. And see, and, and everybody... Everybody, one way or another. See, I got my little, yeah. I got my little demonstration over here. Everybody has some rocks, huh? You see, when 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 you start lining yourself up, when you start lining yourself up, huh, with this battle board, and then you got the foundation, and you got to pull it a little bit, and you got the foundation, and then you got the uh, now you got to start clearing some more than dirt. Uh, uh, this you now. This, this, this you. I'm going to build you a rock. See, I'm going to show you how to build a rock. Then you got to start clearing your foundation, see. And then you get your shovel, and then you get your grade, and then you start picking out the rocks out of your dirt, see. And then you're getting your grade smooth, and then you run into some roots, and then you got to get some more roots out of the way, see. And then as you keep on going with this foundation now, now you're in the word now, now you're trying to line yourself up, see. You get more in the word. You get more in the word. Then you got some of them country roots out the way. Right. Huh? Because them the ones, they go way down up in there. And if anybody been in Florida, you got them palm trees. Okay. Now, see, when you get into this word, and you got that battle board bill, and then you got them lines shooting straight. I'm going to teach you how to be a rock now. You got them lines shooting straight, and you got them pumps. Now you done dug up all everything out of the foundation. And then you said, Okay, I'm working on this, I'm working on this, but there's one rock that's coming your way. One rock. That's Jesus, you can't move that rock. That's a solid rock. Uh, see, all these right here, you can get out. But see, that's that foundation, that's that cornerstone. And that cornerstone is Jesus Christ. See, that rock going to stay. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, that rock is going to stay in place. That's Jesus Christ. See, we need that rock. All the other little pebbles that's around and around and around. I want somebody to look at your Bible and turn to uh, Isaiah 28, verse 16. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how to be a rock. See, everybody want to be some. Some people want to be a rock star. Some people want to be a scientist. Some people want to be uh, 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 like 
you know, Eve Kniva. Some people want to jump over the moon. Some people want to build everything and anything. But I'm going to get you to see how to be a rock. In, in uh, Isaiah 28, verse 16, it says, Therefore, thus said the Lord of God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tie stone. You know what a tie stone is? Let me show you what. Let me tell you what a tie stone is. A tie stone is something that won't move. You ever seen old ladies and mud dogs sitting out in the yard, and everybody walk by, he won't chase hardcore bread. That's a tie stone. Uh, it ain't moving. It's there to stay. It ain't gonna budge, man. <laughs> it's like that dog. He ain't chasing nothing. He ain't gonna budge. A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. See, Jesus showing you what he's going to do for you. He's going to lay all this down for you. And you can write this down. You ain't got to go to the, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 3 and 11. See, I'm, I'm just going to show you how to be a stone. 1 Corinthians 3 and 11 says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. You can't lay a foundation without the Lord. That's right. uh, it ain't going to be solid. You, he, you remember that little story about I huff and I puff and I blow your house down? Uh, uh, see, 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 if you ain't got that cornerstone right there, right. if you ain't got that stone that won't move, the devil's going to come and huff, and he's going to puff, and he's going to blow your house down. But when you standing, come on somebody, I don't think y'all hear me, but when you standing on a solid rock, which is Jesus Christ, when you got a stone that cannot be moved, let the devil come and huff, he'd be like that commercial I see with a man had something <laughs> with the woman. <laughs> he could That's all he had. That's the devil when he come against you. When you got that stone, that 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 solid stone, that cornerstone. He can't. Ain't nothing coming out. God call call call. See Jesus. God got him by the throat. He said, "That's mine. You can't touch me." As y'all the, the devil came to the Lord and said, uh, 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 "Where you going? I'm looking who I may destroy, who I may devour." God had to show him somebody. The devil said, you got them all hashed up. You got them all hashed up. I can't get in these weeds. They got thorns on them, sticking me all in the side. Every time I reach my hand on there, the thorns scratch me. I can't get in there. And then God has to be the one. See, that's what you got right there. You got that stone. You got God. Huh? That cornerstone cannot be denied. And I don't know much about construction, but you can't build a real good sturdy building without a corner stone. It's got to have a starting point. point. But now, you know, they used to do in the old days with just the eye, but now you got the little scope and the beam, they set the level and everything like that. But uh, but that's how you have to build it. And you can write this one down too. I'm trying to give you some scriptures to let you know how you can be a rock. First Timothy 6 and 19. First Timothy 6 and 19 says, Line up in stone for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on, on eternal life. All right. So you got to lay hold on something. So what are you, you, you got, in order to be a rock, you got to work for something. Uh, you got to achieve some type of goal that's going to help you go somewhere. Huh? You can't just be a rock and want to play basketball and you don't get out there and practice on how to dribble. Huh? Right. Come on. You can't be a rock like Jesus and you don't get it through his word. Huh? You can't build a house and you don't set the corners correctly because eventually it's going to be like that leaning tower they got there because somebody messed up that corner stone and now it's leaning. Amen? So you got to be on point with what you're doing. And the only way to be on point a rock like Peter is to get us his word. Right. See, you got to be, you got to do, well, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.19, it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are here. And let every one that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. See, 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 when you build a house, 
You can't just go build something and put some bricks down and, and then lay some beams across it because you ain't checked everything out. You ain't took out some things. You ain't bent around some things. The bricks could sink. Is that hard enough? Iniquity is stuff that's in there. You got to get this stuff out. Huh? When you want to be a rock, there's something God don't lie. Right. I'm just going to go ahead and say something God don't lie. Right. He ain't allow you to do this and that and the other. Act like the world is expected to be one of his rocks. It just ain't going to happen. You can say you say Holy Ghost, sanctified, whatever you want to say, but I often tell people, I tell people this all day, don't tell me God knows my heart, because he do. Right. <laughs> Man, Pastor already know, be careful what you say. Right. He knows your heart. He knows why you do a thing and why you don't do a thing. He already knows what you know. He knows what you want before you even come at us. Amen. 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 And, uh, because God is, is, and the word says, if you hear my word, when you hear my words, you're supposed to do it. When you hear my words, you're supposed to do what thus says the Lord. There is no reason if we're going to proclaim, proclaim Christianity and be what God wants us to be if we don't get out there and do something about what we say we are. You know how people say discipline starts at home? Well, spiritual growth starts in the church, but it ain't how you act in here. Not everybody want to put on a show in church. Some people want to shout, jump, run, hallelujah. What do you do out there? Huh? Out there, do you cuss out your friends still? Huh? Do you, do you throw up unseemly hand signs still when you get into a road rage? It ain't what you do in here because everybody in church, I would say 99.9% .9 of everybody in church is going to behave All right, appropriately because I'm in the house of the Lord. But what if I see you around the corner at a service station? And somebody blocked the pump. Huh? Come on, somebody. My will and say, tell the truth, shame them. You this and that and other. Come on, tell the truth, shame them. Huh? So if you want to be this rock, like Peter, that God can build upon, that God can stand upon, that God can say, I know without a fact, he's mine. The word that God knows his people. Jesus says, those that my father gives me, no man can pluck them out of my hand. All right. They know. God knows. So if you want God to know you, and if you want to be a rock, I tell you like Peter did, stand up and be counted. All God right bless you. Solid foundation yourself first. Amen. We want to thank Famous Chamber for the words coming from the Lord this morning. Amen. At this time, the doors of the church is always open. Or if there's anyone who's in a backslid mode and want to come to the Lord and get it right.